Before we begin today's feature presentation, we gotta talk about pro guides. Are you getting ganked in your own lane? Constantly demolished? Well, don't worry, because we've got you covered. Pro Guides is the number one proven way to quickly help you level up your League of Legends skills. Whether you're looking for tier lists, champion guides, coaching, or courses from your favorite pro players, Pro Guides is where you'll find them. Even players like Nightblue, Bunny Fufu, and Loco Doco support Pro Guides, so what are you waiting for? Click the link below to start improving. On top of that, I am part of the Pro Guides production team over on their YouTube channel, and I'm always there posting content as well, so you might as well go over and sub to Pro Guides because recently we put out a pretty cool video called Low Elo Mistakes that you can improve on, so definitely go check that out. Now, let's get into our movie. Ah, Aatrox. Hello there. You know, I've watched over Summoner's Rift for as long as I can remember. I've seen seasons change, metas shift, new champions be released and others update while some seem to fade away with the passage of time. But you, you're different. You've had such an interesting time here. The community, the developers, and even I thought you would be amazing when you were released. But you weren't, were you? And then you changed. But it's not the same. Your name is a resemblance of your former self. But you, you Aatrox, you're not. What happened to you, my Darken? Aatrox. He's a champion that, over the years, has seen some pretty dark times. There have been plenty of times where he was considered trolling, underpowered, useless, and in dire need of changes. But the irony is, is that when that rework finally came, years later than it should have, it was no longer needed, and, in a lot of ways, no longer wanted. It's really not that Aatrox was reworked, but rather, one died so the other could be revived. The two types of Aatrox that we've seen, the pre-rework and the post-rework, are almost entirely different champions, and caused an outcry from the players who loved him. From a failed release, to complete and utter neglect from the developers, and then to finally have a time that he could shine, only to be killed off in favor of a new version. He would then destroy the competitive scene undergo countless removals of his mechanics while receiving mini rework after mini rework after mini rework, and now finds himself in a bit of a weird spot. A champion that had so much potential from the beginning, with the developers promising us so much, an incredible lore, character model, idea, and splash art, to now be one of the worst mistakes that we've seen from them, and cause a massive divide in their community. This is Aatrox's story. No one could have predicted that before he was released, Aatrox was going to be a failure, because in terms of his splash art, in-game champion model, on top of his amazing lore and theme, there was nothing wrong with him. For a champion released in Season 3, he felt very modern, with a great step from Riot in developing a new type of champion that none of us had seen before, which were the Darkens. Of course, in modern day League of Legends, they've expanded on this incredibly cool theme and given us Rost, otherwise known as Red Kane, who was also a Darken. But when he would be put into the game on June 13th of 2013, it was only downhill from that day. The champion was buggy, awkward, had horrible gameplay design and flaws, and felt very rushed. Aatrox was notorious for one specific ability in his original kit, essentially making no sense, and questioning why it was ever made to be that way, which was his old ultimate. His ultimate, the supposed best ability in any champion's kit, scaled with ability power and dealt magic damage. 
on a champion that built AD. It did have extremely high base damage, so you could get off some nice burst, but that would really only be if your opponent didn't respect you. Or honestly, even know what Aatrox did, since it was so rare that you would see this champion. For this version of Aatrox, he was by far the most neglected champion we've ever seen. Let's put this into perspective. On patch 3.8, he was added into the game. Several months later, he was given an adjustment of power on patch 3.13, and they even nerfed his E by a little bit. We would then have to wait almost an entire year later, on patch 4.5, to see a base armor increase of 4. Then, on the next patch, he was given a bug fix. And then we had to wait another 6 months to have a very, very small buff to his passive, and then we had to wait another 10 months until he finally got a nice buff to his ultimate. Then we would wait another 4 months and he would get another decent buff this time to his passive. And that was it. Aatrox would not receive any more changes, including bug fixes, for another 2 full years after that. Finally, on patch 7.5, Riot decided to do something about it. Someone at their headquarters had a meeting one Monday morning back in 2017 and said, Hey guys, you know that champion that's right at the top alphabetically? You know that he's terrible, right? And we haven't touched him in years, right? Can we try some stuff? Think about it like this. Patch 7.5 was released on March 8th, 2017. Aatrox was added on June 13th, 2013. That is 1,375 days, almost 1,400 days to receive three very small changes, two decent buffs, and a bug fix. Azir used to get all of that every two weeks, and that's all that Aatrox got in 200 weeks. When this patch finally came, it didn't start off too well. He would end up having to be hotfix buffed later that week because he was still terrible. However, the framework was all there. This was easily one of their most successful mini reworks they've ever done, as it genuinely did fix his problems. I want you to pay close attention to their wording because we will come back to it a bit later. When we've talked about Aatrox, we've typically focused on his self-heal based gameplay and how difficult it is to maintain. Tackling a project that large is something more appropriate for a full VGU or a champion class update, but that focus has led us to neglect Aatrox for far too long. Aatrox has other problems besides the diciness of his self-healing, and we're taking this time to tackle some of those problems. Hopefully will come out on the other side more comfortable giving Aatrox balance tweaks in the future. For the actual changes that he got, there are several key notes that I want to look at. First off, Aatrox's passive used to be one of the weakest parts of his kit, and aside from the revive mechanic, it was a weird thing that didn't really help you too much, and it also had these really odd numbers like his passive blood stacks scaling from 105 to 870. On top of that, you stacked Bloodwell by losing your own health, effectively making you stronger, but at a cost of riskier gameplay. This theme of a health draining 1v9 machine sounds pretty tough to balance to say the least, and it was. So these crucial passive changes would end up proving pretty successful. Now his passive capped out at 100, like every other champion in the game that doesn't use mana like Renekton, Trindamir, etc. The way that you stacked your passive was also much better. Now your Q would give 20% blood well on its cast, and your other two basic abilities did the same. The health cost was completely removed on your W and Q, so you wouldn't end up dying to your own kit because god forbid you wanted to just play the game. And Aatrox was given an all new passive effect called Blood Rush, which would be later renamed because, huh, Riot sorta of forgot that Draven's W is already called Blood Rush. Great work guys. Anyway, the Bloodwell mechanic would become his bread and butter way of winning games, because all you had to do was stack up some blood with your W turned on, right up to 60%, then press your Q to engage and E to follow up, which both filled 20% of your Bloodwell instantly, and then you would have your max stacks, gaining attack damage and attack speed for a few seconds, and if you stayed in combat, you could refresh it. I really hope that Riot spent a lot of time on this mini rework and thinking about it pretty heavily, because... It was really smart, actually. 
This would give the champion very clear outplay potential from the enemy where you would end up kiting him after he reaches max stacks, and then the Aatrox player was rewarded because every time you got your god mode, you would have a specific time frame and this would be your chance to do something. Rather than just innately having an insane amount of sustain, there was a dedicated time to go ham and a time to back off if you're the opponent. As stated before, he wasn't immediately strong, but several buffs came his way and a few number tweaks would eventually push him to be top tier. Along with several others, Hashinshin was one of the early adopters of the Aatrox changes, even before he was truly OP. He wasn't much of an Aatrox player at the time before the changes, and was mostly known for his Jax, Olaf, and Darius, but after these changes came through for his mini rework, he would easily begin to adore the champion. After years of being one of the biggest jokes, rejects, and failed champions by Riot, he was officially strong, and headed into Season 8, he would only become stronger. With the introduction of a real keystone for Bruisers, Conqueror would be the straw that broke the camel's back for Aatrox. It was the perfect rune for him in every single way, on top of being insanely OP. For the first time, in literally forever, he was a serious threat at the competitive level. Conqueror was the rune, and Gwinsu's Rageblade plus Titanic Hydra was the build. This would be the best two item spike champion in the game, and two items versus two items, no top laner could match him in the side lane. He would hold one of the highest win rates in the top lane, and many pro players not only started to spam him, but even a Korean one trick would reach as high as top 5 Korean challenger. Aatrox players finally had the champion they've been dreaming of for years. But remember, that Aatrox main in Korea, right? His name was Don't Remake Aatrox. Why? Well, do you remember that part about a VGU? A visual gameplay update? Riot had themselves a serious problem here. They put themselves in a pretty big hole. The thing that I don't understand the most about the situation is the timing. Why would Riot go ahead and do this mini rework? These are champion roadmaps, and it's what Riot releases to tell us which reworks and new champions are coming in the following months, and this one came out in July of 2017 for Aatrox. So it's not just that Riot knew he was going to be reworked internally and know what the timeline was, but also the entire community knew that he was being reworked. This was public information posted on their website. Think about the timeline here. The mini rework came out one month before the champion roadmap. So they gave him these changes, barely even gave it a month, and then said, oh yeah, okay, well we're just gonna fully visually gameplay update Aatrox and change his abilities entirely. Why would they continue to tease Aatrox players and people who liked this version by finally fixing what was wrong with him and then what felt like out of nowhere, he was reworked? And it only felt like it was out of nowhere simply because his current state was so strong. If this rework came out one year before, nobody would have said anything. It feels like the language used on his champion roadmap specifically is very telling. They don't say anything about preserving his playstyle. In fact, they straight up say it wasn't healthy. If you look at their other reworks, let's see how Riot Reeve, the guy who posts the champion roadmaps, likes to describe the reworks. Evelyn's rework? Well, there's Preserve. Urgot, Preserve, Warwick, Modernization, and Preserve, Kale and Morgana, Preserve, Nunu and Willem, Preserving the Ultimate and Consume. What about the brand new Champion Roadmap that was just released the other month outlining the new Fiddlesticks and Volibear reworks coming soon? What does that say? Every other rework talks about preserving the kit, preserving their identity, but Aatrox's doesn't. In fact, the only thing that was preserved from Riot's rework of Aatrox, the literal only thing, was his revive. And that's gone now. That doesn't even exist anymore. It's been completely removed, and after a few attempts to balance it, there's no more revive. The champion is nothing like his former self, barring the red and gray color scheme and the darkened thematic. The champion is more like other champions than his own former version. When the rework came out, at first it was, well, <laughs> trash. It felt clunky, underwhelming, and in general it was rushed and felt incomplete. The W was very slow, and it was super hard to hit, and the reward wasn't even all that great because the slow wasn't even strong. So naturally, they would hotfix buff him, way, way, way over buff him, and then he would take over the competitive scene. 
The biggest difference between all of the versions of Aatrox we've seen since the rework is that this version, right after the rework, had the most consistent use of his revive. All you had to do was press R, and if you were in your ultimate at the time of dying, you would be revived. And of course, the pros would go nuts with this. I wanted to give this thing a try, and it's it's really complicated, intricate thing. As you're getting close to a fight, what you need to do is see if I can get this. Yeah, you press R. That's all you really got to do. And then you can just run at the guy faster, and then your damage is higher, and you shouldn't really be doing that after you start hitting it or get to the fight late. So as I wait for this to time out, I'll see if I can uh, get it again. And there's a, a lot of combos that kind of come after this. So uh, here's what we're going to do. We're going to try and do the full combo. I'm going to press R and then drop all my damage on there. And it's really simple. So you kind of press R, and then from there, you kind of just mash your face on the keyboard. And you just kind of do that for a little bit. And uh, there you go. That is how you play Aatrox. Uh, in pro play. Every single tower dive was successful. Just make the Aatrox tank for you. Every 1v1 was successful because Aatrox had a huge steroid in a strong laning phase and can be revived. Every time you tried to gank an Aatrox, it wouldn't work because he would press R. After being a top, top tier pick in competitive play and solo queue for months on end, Riot would make some changes. The amount of changes this champion has received to his kit after already being reworked is absurd. And if you think about it, even modern day December 2019 Aatrox has a lot of differences from the rework last year. His revive went through several iterations, and now it's no longer there. Aatrox's E used to have passive healing, upwards of 33% which worked on everything. Minions, monsters, not just champions. It was then nerfed all the way down to 15%, then it was completely removed on non-champions and only healed you on champions, and then it was completely removed again and reworked onto his passive. His E used to also be on a charge system and hold up to two charges, Nope, that's gone too. His E used to also grant bonus attack damage, but that's been removed too. His passive has received a full-on rework. It used to reduce healing and shielding on the target, but now this has been removed completely and is now just his form of built-in sustain. And of course, his ultimate can now have its duration extended if you get a takedown, and rather than reviving, Aatrox gets increased healing. And that part's been changed too, because at one point Soraka Aatrox was completely unkillable. Aatrox has a huge problem, which is very similar to Ryze in that he's had so many different versions of his kit. Release Aatrox was a Tryndamere-esque drain tank auto attack champion and was completely terrible and a troll pick. Then we have the post patch 7.5 Aatrox, which was the real version of the champion that we were promised back in season 3 and was actually good. We then of course got the full re-release, which would end up making Riot Jag one of the most hated members of the company because he changed the champion in a way that removed a lot of what made players like him and instead make him play a lot more like Riven, which is a totally different champion. And of course now we have present day Aatrox, which is technically a version of the rework, but has received so many changes in playstyle adjustments that it's not even the same champion. So where does this leave us? We have a version that people do tend to like right now, and he's decently balanced at the moment, at least compared to his last season guaranteed revive version, and he's pretty strong in the meta and has a decent play rate. But there's still a hole left by Riot, where old Aatrox used to be. Presumably, they put a lot of time into that mini rework, and it was so successful that it leaves a lot of people wondering why did it have to be removed? After doing research for this video, I see a lot of lack of consistency from Riot, and I believe that the Aatrox community has every reason to be upset, because it kind of feels like no other champion has been given this treatment. A lot of the other reworks use the same wording about preserving the old playstyle, keeping the champion to the same theme, allowing veterans to feel at home. But this wasn't the case for Aatrox. A lot of the other prestige skins have big changes and are arguably, in big quotation marks, kinda worth buying. But Aatrox's is almost just completely a chroma. Every other Victoria skin looks nothing like their other skins, but Aatrox's Justicar Aatrox is so similar to the new Victoria skin that it looks like a big act of laziness from Riot. Finally, when begging and begging for reverts, Kog'Maw mains and Rengar mains got their old abilities back, LeBlanc mains and Ari mains got their old abilities back too, and even some recent changes to Shaco have proven that eventually, they will listen to you. But not Aatrox mains. Despite almost nothing but hatred for his rework from that side of the player base that likes the old one, he's not coming back. 
Despite the fact that for some reason, Riot finally decided after years of neglect to fix him and make him awesome and viable, they would then just take it away. I don't know why they've been so reluctant to be fair to him. He's so cool, his lore is amazing, he's had an incredibly cool kit after the rework too, and I personally love the rework, but that doesn't mean that other players shouldn't be heard. Just because I like the rework, and he plays very similar to the champions that I play, doesn't inherently mean that the old Aatrox was treated fairly. So many players beg day by day to have their old main back, because it's not a modernization, it's not preserving the champion, it really wasn't even a rework. Aatrox was more like the first champion that Riot has ever removed from League of Legends. If you enjoyed this video, make sure to click like and subscribe, and I will see you all next time.